So in this uh, particular module, we will be discussing that from whatever the topics we have covered earlier, that how the diversification of life has taken place. So today we have five to 50 million species on the surface of earth, which is a lot of biodiversity. And to explain that how the, this diversity has reached at this point, and to study that diversity, we have a logistic model of diversity that this diversity reached a global equilibrium level. That means the species were growing and growing and until they became equilibrium with the logistical uh, resources of the environment. And the second is exponential model, which um, says that diversity continues to expand without reaching a global carrying capacity. So it is, you know, uh, one is exponential model, which says that the diversity is increasing and increasing without any hampering from the environment. And the logistic model says that they're, they both are in equilibrium, will be further uh, developing these ideas. And many examples of evolutionary trends, um, one way changes in a feature or feature are in reality more complex. So we may say that apes develop into the humans, but this is very, very simplistic uh, observation. This is not as much simple as it looks. It is much more complex than this. So idea of progress in evolution, the change with the improvement in uh, competitive ability is hard to demonstrate. So this is an idea of macro evolution. How does the evolution has changed with the time being? So we cannot s demonstrate this idea much more effectively. It is rather hard to demonstrate this idea. So what are, it is important not to confuse patterns with the process. So sometimes uh, the nature has always ha has some patterns and we cannot uh, identify those patterns with the uh, processes and uh, that might confuse us and we can go to some untoward conclusions as well. So too often scientists and public assume such processes such as competition, adaptation and progress without testing for alternatives. So we must not reach to the conclusion first, we must test the alternative things first. And there, there are the, some major steps in evolution. Uh, we have seen the evolution of wings and feathers in bird, evolution of limb loss in sh uh, snakes, all of these things. We may have seen that how, uh, for example, the Lamarck's uh, theory or the Darwin's theory about how the giraffe got his long, its long neck. So all of these things have some elaborate fossil record and these are the things which are documented by the evolutionary trees. And we can demonstrate these things in some major steps that we will be discussing in further topics. And then there are some alternative uh, biological view of major steps as well. So there are some uh, one type of steps and then there are some alternative view of those steps. We'll be focusing on those uh, steps as well. So an alternative biological view of major steps focuses on fundamental subcellular systems, replicators and genetic systems. So subcellular systems, that means these systems were not made up of cells. They were earlier than the cells, cells were formed. And then there comes the replicators. These were some sort of uh, organisms or the memes that were replicating themselves. And then there are the genetic system, for example, the organisms. We, plant, animal, all the five kingdoms, the viruses, any organism that contains the genetic materials, that is called a genetic system. And all of these things, they in some certain uh, processes, they came into being and then they diversified this planet, teeming with the biodiversity that we see today.